attraction. So I want to attract all sorts of Wonder Woman energy to me. So the scarf reminds me to do that. And uh, actually, this was made by a child that I know. So I like wearing it, uh, too, for that reason. So this is part two in our wherever they're just little series about the law of attraction, because there's so many misconceptions about this. And I'm finding that people are um, asking a lot of questions about it. People are really curious about it. And then there's a lot of fear and anxiety about the law of attraction too. So I'm finding some of the, some of the questions that came in, which were really good, were like, well, if I'm experiencing challenges. Am I creating that? And then there's fear and anxiety about what people are creating. And then that sort of cycles out, uh, spirals outward, outward, outward. So if you haven't watched part one, make sure you watch part one. There's some postings about that. You can go to my YouTube channel. If you're on my YouTube channel, then you can, yeah, the, the link should be there for you. So you can watch part one. I definitely recommend watching that first. And then this is part two. And in part two, I want to talk about challenges. I'm going to talk about contrast, what that looks like, especially as Jesus followers, because um, Jesus doesn't promise us that everything will be like super easy. Jesus promises us that he'll be there with us when things are challenging. We have always have the guidance of Jesus. We always have the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Hey, hey, everyone. Love seeing you here. Uh, you all know I don't say your names online because these go a bunch of places, but hello. All right. And so let's talk about what happens when you do have challenges, when you have contrast. So some of the comments I saw coming in were, well, like every time something bad happens, I worry that I've created that. All right, so that's a totally legitimate worry when we're talking about law of attraction, this idea that we create our own reality, we create um, everything that is around us. Um, but let's talk about the difference between creating your own reality based on your fear and anxiety and then tackling the challenge that's in your path. Um, so yeah, let's talk about the difference between those two things. So challenges that we sometimes call contrast arise in a variety of forms. So I'm gonna take a really simple one. If I get a cold, I mean, it could just be that I have a virus, I, I touched a sick kid, I, you know, someone sneezed on me, whatever, I get a cold. Um, does that mean that I attracted that cold? Maybe, maybe not. But if I have run myself ragged and need to rest, it could be that the only way that I'll take a rest, and yes, this is from personal experience, could be that the only way I'll take a rest is through the form of a cold, a little illness, because that will get me to actually lay down and integrate everything that I need to integrate, to rest, to have a Sabbath. So if the only way that spirit can get me to know that I need to take a Sabbath is through a cold, that's the form of a challenge or a contrast, and it's a learning opportunity. Did I manifest the cold? May, kinda, 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 but it's also a challenge that invites me into a new way of being. All right, so do you see that difference? One of the energies, though, that I was picking up from, um, from the questions that were being asked was around like the fear of law of attraction. So this is where it can get um, a little bit tricky. So when there's, um, when we have fear that we're going to manifest all these negative things, what's the energy that we're putting out there? Are you putting out there the energy of fear and anxiety? Because if so, yeah, those are gonna come back to you and they're gonna manifest in bizarre ways around you. And it's gonna feel like you're always on an uphill battle. You know, like you're always climbing uphill, you're Sisyphus, you're always pushing that rock uphill. But when challenges arise uh, in our path, when contrast arises in our path, and we say, huh, we greet it, we kind of surrender to it, to whatever that is, and we say, huh, looks like the, it looks like the universe is really, really serious about uh, whatever I need to do to move forward, because here's this challenge, here's this moment of contrast. So when we can surrender to that and come out the other side and say, okay, a powerful lesson has been learned, a mini lesson has been learned, a big lesson has been learned, then we're not going to reproduce that contrast anymore. So my challenge to all of you is when you noticed challenges, that word again, or contrasts that are cyclical, that are repetitive, that's when we need to look at the patterns that are being created because that is habits, patterns that we believe are um, insurmountable. We believe that they have to be that way. In fact, the pattern is telling you when it's in the form of something that you don't like, that pattern is asking you to change your energy. It's asking you to change the way you perceive it so that you can shift the energy around it and then come out the other side vibrating higher because of that challenge. All right, so I'm going to give you an example from me, from a long, more than a decade ago, a long time ago. So I was uh, in the middle of grad school. I was proposing big projects. I was in the middle of trying to propose my dissertation. 
And when I tell you things fell apart, oh my gosh, things fell apart. Uh, if any of my committee members are watching this, you might remember this, you might not. I, I certainly do. So things fell apart like I was supposed to propose this big dissertation. Um, this, this is in front of like 30 or 40 people and like things just fell apart at the last minute. I couldn't make, I couldn't do the proposal. Some, yeah, you know, some things that were beyond my control, some things that weren't my control. Um, I had, I was being challenged kind of on all sides for an idea that I knew was really, really good. Like I knew it deep down inside and, uh, people were trying to talk me out of this particular um, idea actually they were saying it's not gonna work um, I got I got the book right up there to prove <laughs> to prove it, that it does work so this is a challenge in front of me so I it depends on our perception right so using you know kind of paying attention to the law of attraction I could have said you know all those people are right this challenge is is telling me I don't need to move forward or I could say this challenge is actually testing me it's testing my commitment to my idea It's testing my commitment um, to uh, getting this work out there in the world in ways that I think are really important. And the idea was around people who are enslaved. It was around uh, the ways we perceive our sexuality. Guess about things we talk about in here all the time. I mean, this serves me every single day, uh, this idea that I had. And so reframing the way I was experiencing the challenge as something to be surrendered to because I was experiencing contrast in the form of people challenging my idea, but then saying, you know what? My idea is better than people's objections. And I need to figure out how um, to work up my inward energy about that, which I did uh, through the help of a, of a mentor. And then I need to be able to explain this verbally with my words and with my energy actually to show that I believe in this idea. And then poof, the problem goes away. Right, so that took a couple of weeks, it took a couple of months. These days it wouldn't take that long. These days it would just take a couple of minutes uh, for me to do that because we get better at encountering our contrast. We get better at encountering our challenges. So rather than having tons of fear and anxiety that you're creating a fearful and anxious reality around you, deal with the fear and anxiety, put out there something else. Then you'll watch the contrast, you'll watch the challenges and melt away. And of course, we always know that Jesus is with us. The Holy Spirit is with us. You can call, um, you know, as a Christian, you can call on this in your prayer life all the time to assist you. So I think what I'll invite people to look at is when you notice a pattern of a challenge that appears and it's cyclical and your feelings about it don't change, they only grow more negative, that's when we need to, that's when the moment of intervention is ready. Like that's when you are ready to make a switch. You are ready to pivot. You are ready to change your energy about the way you perceive the problem so that you can move on into the next phase, right? And so that's your um, call. That is a call to action to you to do something differently. Okay, I'm gonna stop here. I think this is plenty about law of attraction in the form of challenges and contrast today. I wanna to thank you all for joining me, those who have joined me live. I see a compliment on the angel. She's just been put back here because uh, I wanted to see something something pretty on my uh, on my lives that I do. And actually, I love this because looking at her in the, in the camera is just a reminder to me. It's like cr helping me create the most high vibration state that I possibly can. So she's always been in front of the, on the other side of the camera. And now she's back here with me. And uh, she has some beautiful stones in her as well that she's holding. Okay, everyone, it's wonderful to see you. If you have comments, questions, just post them below and I will talk to you soon.